Today we're looking at the 1966 Oldsmobile Toronado, currently being restored at UTR Automotive. This car was driven to the shop by the customer. Mechanically, the car was quite sound. It did require a few minor upgrades. We replaced the entire exhaust system. We replaced some of the suspension components. But overall, this car was in really good shape. We started the project by removing all the chrome stainless, sending those items out to be refinished, and then we went on stripping the paint. Here's some photos of the car when it arrived at DTR. Now we've got all the sheet metal taken off, and we removed all the paint. We then coated it with epoxy primer, along with three to four coats of sanding primer to start the blocking process. So let's take a look at the engine bay. After the front end sheet metal was all removed, all the underbody sheet metal was removed, sandblasted, epoxy, painted in a satin black finish. The air conditioning system was also removed, which was then shipped out to be restored and upgraded to a modern Freon. The engine was degreased. Paint it with a high temperature engine enamel. The valve covers and air cleaner were removed, sandblasted, epoxied. Paint it with a base coat clear coat finish. The brakes were upgraded from a single master cylinder system to a dual master cylinder system with a new booster. The firewall was also prepped, epoxy and painted satin black to match the remaining parts of the engine bay. So we ripped out the carpet, we found a little surprise on the left side floor pan near the gas pedal. This was the most rust on the entire car. A patch panel was fabricated, the worst of the area was removed, the panel was welded in, seam sealed, and painted. Now the carpet's in. The seat was also sent out to be reupholstered. We installed the sill plates to hold the carpet in place. Another big part of this project was the dash. The dash plate was removed from the car. It was completely disassembled. Any parts that were not functioning were found to then be replaced. Once the plate came back from chroming, the texture finish was applied. We then reassembled the dash plate to reinstall. We installed a custom auto sound Bluetooth stereo system. The aluminum plates towards the bottom of the dash plate could not be replaced, so we had them made at a water jet company and also had them engraved.
here are some of the steps involved in refinishing the exterior body panels. Everything was stripped to bare metal, then epoxy primer. Sanding primer was also applied. Necessary body work was performed. Everything was reprimered, blocked, and then on the paint. Here's where we are currently with the project. Some more parts going back onto the car. Some trim and some emblems as well. We rehung the doors and aligned them properly. All new vacuum lines will run into the doors with power locks. Door components are beginning to be reinstalled into the doors. The car as it sits now has been sanded and buffed thoroughly. The rear bumper was reinstalled along with the taillight panel and the rear taillights. The taillights got an extra coat of clear on them to give them that new shine. All in all, it's coming together well, and thanks for watching.